Hi everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood physicist, Andrew Zydell, and today I'll be presenting the first in a series of educational videos from Willis Observatory, and we're going to be talking about Nature's Galileo, how jumping spiders can see the moon. So let's jump right in. So as astronomers, we're not alone. Most of the time you might think of a human when you think of an astronomer, but today we're going to be talking about spider astronomers. So how does a jumping spider see the moon? For instance, the moon is gigantic. It's about 2,100 miles across, and it's about 240,000 miles away from Earth. Yet this tiny little spider, uh, anywhere from an eighth of an inch to three quarters of an inch, which weighs around 0 0.0004 ounces, uh, sometimes they're named Bobby, like this one, can actually see the moon with their tiny little eyes. And today I'm gonna explain how they do that. It turns out that their eyes are built just like telescopes. and a uh, specific type of telescope, the Galilean telescope, is actually a really simple one. But wait, who's Galileo again? Let me explain who that is. So Galileo made the telescope famous in 1609. Uh, he was also later arrested by the Roman Inquisition because he insisted that the sun was the center of the solar system. But he's known for many different inventions, and he's been called the father of observational astronomy, the father of modern physics, the father of modern science, so he's the father of lots of different things, uh, mostly science ones, and he developed a telescope that was actually really simple to build and simple to use. So let's get into how those types of telescopes work. They're actually called Galilean telescopes, and they're actually pretty simple when you get down to it. Let's take a look at this diagram and I can help explain how they work. So, like I said, pretty simple. Uh, wait, no, I'm just kidding. We're not going to use this diagram. If you're really interested in understanding how a Galilean telescope works, you can definitely use this and figure out all the different angles and stuff, but I'm going to use a much simpler diagram that I made myself. So, as a primer, a Galilean telescope has two lenses. One of them, which is called the objective lens, is curved, so it's got a convex shape, so it's curved on one end and flat on the other. When light passes through that convex lens, it actually bends. And this bending is caused by the fact that the light is passing through different thicknesses of the glass. And that causes the light to bend inward to focus on a small point. This focused light then passes through what we call a concave, or the eyepiece lens, which kind of straightens out the light. So that focuses an image onto uh, your eye, so, you can, so our little spider here can see the moon. Now what's interesting is that spider eyes, specifically jumping spider eyes, are just like these little telescopes. And how do we know that this is actually true? It's not just me making stuff up. Well, a bunch of astronomers actually reached out to uh, Nate Morehouse at the Morehouse Lab, and he studies jumping spiders for a living. It was a really interesting thing. There were some astronomers in an office and they had a jumping spider infestation. So one of the astronomers was working on their uh, keyboard and they kept having spiders fall from the ceiling onto them and they were jumping spiders. And while they waited for uh, pest control to come control the situation, they started playing around with some laser pointers. And it turns out these little spiders will chase laser pointers around just like a cat. And they got really curious and they started posting on Twitter. And this guy, Nate Morehouse, got caught on to it and uh, gave a big shout out. And since these guys were astronomers, he told them that they can actually see the moon because he says that their eyes are built just like Galilean telescopes. They have the same kind of twins, twin lens system, a big converging one on the outside and a little diverging one on the inside. And he says they can definitely see the moon in the night sky. They might even be able to see stars and craters on the moon. So. Let's jump in and see actually how this works inside the spider. So if we take a close-up of a jumping spider and look inside at the anatomy of the eye, if it's looking at the moon, the light will go in, it'll pass through that uh, converging lens, focus the light into what's kind of like an eyepiece lens, which then hits the optic nerve of the spider's brain. So yeah, those little spiders that you see jumping around, they can probably see the moon and some stars. They might even be staring up at it, wondering and having the same questions as we do. So I wanna give a special shout out to all the jumping spiders that helped me arrange this talk and no jumping spiders were harmed during the production of this video. And just for your reference, I threw in some extra links if you guys wanna check out uh, the Morehouse Jumping Spider Lab 
And also the inspiration for this talk came from a National Geographic article in 2017. And if you want to keep up to date with all the things going on at Willis Observatory, go ahead and go to willisobservatory.com, check out our Facebook page and any of our other social media that are linked. Thanks a lot, guys.